pet awesome chocolates we have a spreadsheet problem i got two excel files one is having my product price list and another is having our sales data and i just want to combine these two files to be able to figure out more information i'm gonna show you two different techniques using which we can solve this problem let's take a look at them on the left hand side is my sales data file and on the right hand side is my price list. Notice that if I want to know how much is the amount, I have to take the product name, for example, caramel stuffed bars, go to the price list on the right hand side, locate the relevant record, get the price per box $6.37, multiply that with this value to get the total amount. So this is where the linkage problem originated. The easiest way to link two files is with a formula. So I'm saying amount and then we could use either VLOOKUP or XLOOKUP to look up the caramel stuffed bars price from the price list. So I'm going to use the XLOOKUP function, XLOOKUP caramel stuffed bars in the lookup array which is my price list table within within the price list file so you, you can see that price list dot xlsx price list worksheet prices product and then i want to get the matching price per box times the number of boxes and then we will be able to see 2006 dollars here and then you can just fill this down to see relevant values but there is a teeny tiny problem with this approach you must keep the price list file open for the formula to work. Notice what happens when I close this file. It will work, but the moment you go and edit this formula, you will get a hash ref error. This is because for Excel to get the correct value from the formula, the other file must be open. This is a limitation with this approach. Now, I don't know about your business, but Awesome Chocolates is no McDonald's. We cannot keep these files open 24 by 7. For that reason, I'm going to show you another approach through which we can get the data from the other file by connecting to it. We'll start by going to the data ribbon and then click on this get data button from file from workbook. Here we are going to use the Power Query feature of Excel to connect both files. This will open up the folder navigator asking you to locate the price list. You can locate any file on your computer or on a network shared drive. So I'm going to point our price list and then say import. In the next screen, it will show you all the contents of that Excel file and then asks you what do you want. We want our prices table to be connected. So I'm going to pick the prices table and then simply click on the load option. This is gonna bring a copy of the prices table right here in this Excel workbook now. You might be thinking, why can't we just copy paste the data? The advantage of connecting it like this is that whenever there is new data in the price list table, you can right click here and then refresh and it will bring the new values. I'll demo that in a minute, but for now, let's calculate the amount. So we come back here, we'll say amount, and then we'll say boxes times X lookup Look up the product name, go to the prices, select the product name and then the price. Because everything is in this workbook, you don't need to worry about keeping anything open. The formula will always work and you'll get the correct result. Now let's see what happens if you update the prices. So I'm going to quickly open the price list workbook here and let's just change the caramel stuffed bars from $6.37 to $9.40. We'll save this file close it, come back here, right click on the table that is imported and then say refresh. Notice that the price has been updated to 9.4 and the amount has also changed. So that is how you can link up two files in Excel. You can also use Power Query to link up more than two files or bring a whole bunch of files into Excel. If you want to learn a little bit more about these advanced techniques, check out the videos that are linked on the screen. I'll catch you there. Bye-bye.